Hello everybody, how are you doing? So many people across the world are crazy about immigrating and settling in Canada. The fact that Canada actually offers its permanent residency while you're sitting in your home country makes it the number one choice for immigration. But it's not possible for everyone to get the permanent residency. So in this video, we will quickly analyze who can get the Canadian PR in 2021. This new year is a lot different from 2020. A lot has changed. Many rules have changed. The patterns, the trends have changed. So we'll try to see if a person who's got a bachelor's degree, can he or she get the permanent residency? If a person is married, he has got master's degree, what about the person who has got an age of 30, 31, 32? Will they be able to get the Canadian PR? We'll try to find out in this video. We know that there are many factors involved like your age, your education, work experience, language proficiency, provincial nomination, job offer, many other factors as well. And of course, there can be infinite permutations and combinations. We cannot talk about all of them. But yes, in this video, we'll try to find out the most common combinations so that you can get the idea of who can get the Canadian PR in 2000. 21. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so to start the analysis, it's very important to understand the current trends. So in the last one year, in 2020, we saw that the minimum cutoff score was 468, which is actually the last draw which was conducted in 2020. And they've already announced that they want even more people in 2021. So you can expect big draws, maybe like 4,500 or maybe 5,000 every month, just like the last few draws that have been conducted in November and December. However, there are multiple factors involved and it's very difficult to predict anything so early. But yes, for this video, we'll have to make an assumption of the minimum cutoff score. Now, because in the last two years, 2019 and 20, the minimum cutoff score has evolved around 465 and 470. I would assume that the minimum cutoff score in 2021 would remain around 465. Maybe one or two points less, one or two points high. But yes, we have to make some assumption. So let 465 be that magic number. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about that age group which gives you maximum points. So it's age of 20 to 29 and the marital status is single. After this, we'll also talk about the same age group, but marital status as married. Now I've mentioned all the crucial points here, marital status, education, Canadian education, Canadian work experience, international work experience, IELTS, TEF or TCF, job offer, PNP, sibling in Canada, spouse education and spouse IELTS. So as the very first example, if a person is single, has the bachelor's degree, no Canadian education, no Canadian work experience, three plus years of international work experience, CLB 9 as the IELTS score, no French language, job offer or PNP or sibling in Canada. In that case, the cutoff score would be 429. If we assume that the cutoff score is going to be around 465, this is way far. Let's say if we increase the IELTS score from CLB 9 to CLB 10, even after that, they would be only able to reach 4. 41. Let's say if they've got Canadian education, but their IELTS score is CLB 9, even then they would be only able to make 459. Let's say if they have got bachelor's degree, they've got an IELTS score of CLB 10 and a sibling in Canada, even after that the cutoff score would be 456. Now talking about those people who are single, and have two degree or diploma, no Canadian education, work experience, French language test, job offer, PNP or no sibling in Canada. So after that, the score would be 462, which is still close to 465, but still just with that, you won't be able to make it. Yes, if the cutoff score actually goes down to 461 or 462, then you would be able to make it, but there are very less chances for that. Now, let's say you have two degrees or diploma, CLB 9 in IELTS, but you have one sibling in Canada. In that case, you'd easily clear the cutoff score because you'll get 477 score. You don't have any siblings. You have two degree or diploma, but you have CLB 10. Even then you can clear the cutoff score because your score will be 474. Now, of course, I cannot talk about each and every criteria. So let's talk about those who have master's degree. So if you have master's degree, three years of work experience and CLB 9 in IELTS, you would get 469 score, which is really good and you can get the ITA anytime. And of course, if you have PhD, CLB 9, then you would actually 
score 484 which is way above the cutoff score you'd be easily able to get the ita okay now let's talk about the same age group but marital status is married here we would assume that the spouse is not a permanent resident or citizen of canada and that they would come with the principal applicant to canada i've mentioned the same old factors that are listed out earlier here it's very important to say that whether the person is married or single if they have got a job offer or if they've got a pnp nomination or if they're able to score good in any of the french language test then they would be easily able to clear the cutoff score but i assume that most people would not be able to do that so i haven't considered those scenarios in any of my examples here okay so the first category if the person is married has got a bachelor's degree ielts as clb9 spouse has also got a bachelor's degree but is able to score only clb7 in ielts then the score would be 423 if the spouse is able to score a little better and able to reach clb9 then the score would be 431 which is still not good enough if the primary applicant does even more better in english in the ielts test then the score would go to 443 but that would also not be good enough on top of that if the person has got a sibling in canada that would have 15 more points and the score would be 458 which is still closer to the cutoff score but not good enough because i don't see the cutoff score going below 460 in this year as well the chances to get the ita would get better if the primary applicant has got two degrees or diplomas and spouse has got a bachelor's degree and both of them score clb9 because their total would be 463 very close to the cutoff score that we've assumed you never know the cutoff score might drop to 463 also so there are good chances that you can get the ita and of course if the person has got a master's degree then the scenario gets changed because the total score becomes 470 if both of them score clb9 and things would be even more better if they have a sibling in canada so that would add 15 more points and their score would be 485 and of course if the principal applicant has got a phd then the score would be 484 okay now talking about age 31 of course i can't make videos for all the different age groups but hopefully after this you'll get an idea that the points actually get reduced for every year of the age increased so for the first example we see a person is single and has a bachelor's degree has clb 10 even after clb 10 he scores 430 when there's no canadian education work experience um, french language test job offer pnp or sibling in canada while if he or she is married and the spouse has got a bachelor's degree and clb 9 the score increases a bit up to 433 of course both are not good enough and if the person is single has a canadian education and scores clb 10 then he would be closer to the to our assumption of the cutoff which is 465 because now he'll score 460 similarly if that person is married and his or her spouse has got a bachelor's degree and scores clb 9 in ielts then it would be 463 and very similar score is for a person who is single has two degree or diplomas but hasn't got the canadian education so the score would be 463 now the same person if he hasn't got the canadian education but has got two degree or diplomas then the score would be 465 lastly if the person is single has got a master's degree but hasn't got the canadian education scores clb9 then the cutoff score is 458 so mind it it's very important to note here that if even you have master's degree you need to score clb10 to actually go on to that level of 465 similarly spouse has also got a bachelor's degree and clb9 then the score would be 460 only which is closer but not close enough so you need an extra element maybe clb10 or the uh, french language test or something else can do it for you okay guys so uh, this is it of course i cannot talk about all the different permutations and combinations but hopefully this will give you an idea that who can actually get the pr in 2021
with the bachelor's degree it's very 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 difficult that you would get the pr unless and until you have the french language test or job offer or pnp uh, even having this sibling in canada won't actually help that much so thanks a lot for watching this video i really hope that you uh, would have gained some knowledge and get an idea of the current situation in the trends in the express entry system if you like the video, please click the thumbs up button. If you have any queries, please put it down in the comment section below. And yes, if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video. Thanks again.